Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt, aka The One Handy Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Matt's Tech. Today, I'm very happy to announce a new video series on this channel. It's going to be called 3D Printer Review Summer using the hashtag 3DP Summer. And with that hashtag, you can use that on Instagram and Twitter. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep updated on the video series. And also, you can influence the entire video series. But I will tell you more about that at the end of this video. So basically, this video series is all about reviewing brand new 3D printers. So far, I have four companies sending me 3D printers. And uh, every two to three weeks this summer, there will be a new unboxing video of the 3D printer. Plus, we'll probably do a first impressions separate video on each uh, printer, plus like a first test print video. And uh, this is actually the We Do M2 3D printer. And uh, we're going to unbox this today to be the first printer unboxed during this video series. But first, I need to roll the intro. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Cubicity, the best place to get your filament, from PLA and ABS all the way to exotic filament. Check out their link in the description below. Welcome back. This printer is actually pretty big. I don't have the room uh, area-wise to unbox it in this room, so we're going to move it to the family room where we have enough space to move it around and unbox it. Uh, my friend Justin is here. He's actually going to help me unbox it because it's actually pretty heavy. So uh, let's go ahead and move into the other room. Is it recording? Yeah. As we open the box, we discover foam. Foam. I like this foam too. Yeah. And the instructions. That's, wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be mostly insulation and foam. <laughs> But no, it's it's not the cheap foam either. That's no, that's that's a good foam. Yeah, and that's why it's wedged in there because yeah. it's surrounded by it. This is definitely a weird name for a 3D printer company. We do. I couldn't find too much about this company. They are based in China, and I also could not find any reviews on this printer. But so far, I'm very impressed on how well they packed this. They definitely made sure this printer. Got it to got to me very safe. It's the very nice soft foam, and this printer is just very well built. It is fully enclosed, but unfortunately, it does not have a heated bed on it. Yeah, there's still stuff in it. Ooh. Oh, I can sit, I can like stack printers now. Have the small one on top of that one. Yeah. Actually, see, that's enclosed. Mm hmm. So if you quiet, hopefully. Oh, that is enclosed. That's awesome. And then you could keep most of the heat inside so we don't yes. have to worry about it. Hopefully. That's the sh in theory, that should work. Oh, okay. Oh, tape. Uh, white filament. White filament. Just white? Yep. I think so. Power cables and fun stuff. Got some tape. They do say this printer has an air particle filtration system in it, uh, which is cool. Uh, it doesn't. I don't see the really need for it since this printer is only going to be printing PLA. But, uh, I guess that's cool. On the front of the printer, we have a power button, a decent LCD display, it's not touchscreen, and then we have the buttons that control the LCD display. If you ever used uh, any form of Marlin firmware, it's pretty much uh, the same for using the UI, the GUI, so it's not too hard to actually get this printer to print. Uh, I did have to do a factory software reset which ended up resetting the text to Chinese Mandarin and uh, so I had to figure out 
how to switch it back to English. I used Google, Google Translator to help me big time. But no problem, I just switched it back to English. The printer comes with a whole box of accessories, a whole roll of 3M scotch tape, the filament support, support rack, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, a printing connection cable, which is the USB cable, power cord, uh, which is for is American power cord. Uh, it comes with an extra X axi mortar cable, which I think we'll get, we'll talk about that more later. They're having some problems with the cables on this printer, just because of the movement speeds and everything on these types of printers, it really wears out the mortar cables. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a later video, probably in my final review of this printer. Um, it comes with a SD card, like we talked about, a USB SD card adapter, a toolkit, and a plastic scraper that actually works pretty good for removing prints so far. So the WeDo M2 3D printer retails for right around 400 bucks or 450, depending on what retailer you find it at. I will leave links in the description down below for you to check it out on the product pages on a few different retailers. Uh, the maximum build volume is 170 millimeters by 140 millimeters by 140 millimeters. And that is 6.6 .6 inches by 5.5 .5 inches by 5.5 .5 inches. Now the printer does not take regular G code it actually takes X3G files, which uh, if you use the files in the software that comes with this printer on its little SD card, SD card it has a their own custom WeDo Cure uh, software, and that actually outputs X3G files. So you can load those X. 3G files directly on the SD card and put it in SD card slot on the printer. Or you can have the printer wired up via USB cable to your compu computer and you can either use the Cure version that's provided or the Replicator G software that is also provided. Uh, I tried both of these softwares. Um, look, Replicator G just seems kind of old and it's really slow. I actually really enjoyed using the WeDo Cura version, although it kind of needs to be updated to the newest Cura. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty good software. This printer uses 1.75 millimeter filament, and that is one of the last things included in the box. It's a whole one kilogram roll of 1.75 millimeter white PLA. The last thing you'll find in the accessory box is the filament spool holder. And uh, let's just say I'm not happy with this design. It's the, it's a external spool holder and it literally sits beside the 3D printer. It is made out of three pieces of acrylic, uh, not the best material to be made out of. Uh, and it has uh, several screws that uh, put our to hold this thing together. But the thing is, the wrench that is provided in the box ends up not actually fitting these bolts. Doesn't even fit. How about the other side? It's even smaller. It's like Deadpool's baby hand. So it's super difficult to put the, this uh, filament spool holder together. And to make matters worse, the spindle that will be holding the filament uh, roll onto this uh, spool holder design is, is not great. It's actually slightly too big to fit most of my spools of filament. And I'm just not happy with this overall design of an external spool holder that has to sit next to your 3D printer and takes up more room, but that's okay. I'm, we're gonna fix this. It's an easy fix. Going, I'm going to design some kind of simple spool, hold, spool holder that clips onto the back of the 3D printer. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. 
All right guys, that's about it for this video today. We got the Wii Do unboxed and you got to see everything that comes with it. It's pretty impressive for a $400 printer. I just wish it had a heated bed and uh, maybe dual extruder. And next week's video, we will be doing a first test print with the Wii Do and we're gonna print a few different things and hopefully get some kind of spool holder designed next week. Maybe not, I don't know if I'll have time for that. Unfortunately, while I was editing, editing this video or watching now, uh, we had a really bad storm here. Uh, we had some tree damage and trees down and the lightning was really crazy. We had a lightning strike right outside our house and unfortunately, it looks like it fried my computer, uh, especially my motherboard. I'm pretty sure my motherboard's dead. Um, so if you're seeing this video, that means I use my other computer to edit, but this computer was specifically designed for video editing. And uh, so what I've gone ahead and done is set up a Patreon page and account. So uh, if you guys can go ahead and head over there, if you, if you feel like it, I mean, just whatever you can. If you can, it's fine too, just head over there. I'm gonna set up some cool like perks and stuff if you're a Patreon supporter. I know it's a really popular thing to do right now with Patreon. Seems like everybody's doing it. But uh, hopefully I can replace some of my uh, uh, computer parts and everything, get a new computer working for this uh, video series. And uh, speaking of this video series, uh, using the hashtag 3DP Summer, you can go on Instagram and Twitter and wherever else you want to use the hashtag. And uh, you can actually influence this entire entire video series. And you can tag your favorite 3D printer manufacturer and it's like, hey, we really want this guy to check out your 3D printer and give an honest review of it. And maybe, just maybe, we can extend this 3D printer review summer all the way into the fall of this year. As you know, I'm always going to be doing my honest reviews. Uh, I'm going to give my honest opinion on every single product. Also, with the hashtag 3DP summer, I'll be posting behind the scenes pictures. And uh, if you use the hashtag and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'll be posting the test print pictures before I do a video on it so you get to see printers I'm reviewing before I make a video on it and I'll be having some chats about like 3D printing tips and that kind of stuff so I'm trying to like build a community where we can all talk about upcoming new 3D printers and talk about like how to improve your print quality and what slicer to use and all that kind of stuff so uh, I know I've been talking for a while now. I just want to thank all of you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Now I have to do an ad read so I can pay for my computer parts. So enjoy this ad. I would like to give a shout out to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel in this video series. Blue Apron offers a better way to cook with fresh ingredients and great recipes delivered weekly to your home. Blue Apron has no commitment or fees, so you can prepare delicious, inventive meals at home. Blue Apron sends higher quality food at a better value by cutting out the middleman and delivering ingredients at their freshest. You can cook incredible meals from scratch with perfectly portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes. Blue Apron's uniquely integrated model means better ingredients, better pricing, and a better planet for us all. Using the link in the description below, you can sign up for Blue Apron and get your first three meals for free. What an incredible value. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Again, I want to thank Blue Apron for sponsoring this video and for supporting this channel. <laughs> Move into the other room. So you might have three printers? I don't know. Actually, if I, this is a different company. Actually, I turned down another printer this morning. Really? Like a pretty big one, but I wasn't able to keep it. It was like, send it back in a few weeks. I was like, nah, I don't want to deal with that. I don't have time to test. Right. I just want to keep it. Within a few weeks. Yeah. Expensive Christmas. Expensive Christmas. Smells new. Huh? Smell new electronics. Right? Oh, it's so shiny. 
We're gonna take good care of it, Matt. No problem. Okay. We're gonna take Windex to it. Wow, that is clean. And there's LEDs inside. Oh. I didn't even get that. Ooh, that looks really good on camera. Looks nice and shiny. That's sharp. It's kind of covered in finger smudges though. Yeah. Oh. Tiny magnet. So what, uh, you think it's about twice the size, build size? <laughs> Should be about twice the size. Uh, the top has a... Uh, yeah, top has a too. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. That goes far back. 